Hi everybody, my name is Katia Riopel and I'm the Youth Project Coordinator. And I'm Stephanie Pollard, Advisor Analyst at Breakfast Club of Canada. Breakfast Club of Canada is so much more than a breakfast. As you know, all together, during school year, we feed the belly, the heart, the soul and the mind of our children. Here's the perfect and simple activity that celebrate and promote the function of the brain. It is called the Cerebral Box. Through our Rise and Shine Breakfast program, the Cerebral Box is the perfect activity to create interaction in between members of your breakfast program, to promote the uniqueness of their opinion, and to sharpen the creative mind through philosophy. All these special ingredients add magic through your daily routine during your breakfast program. And Stephanie, tell me, what would the schools need to start the cerebral box? The schools need these plastic cereal dispensers that we have sent to the lead agencies and uh, we encourage the schools to use them for serving the cereal but to reserve some for the activity to decorate some that will go on the tables uh, but these should remain empty. Uh, your lead agency has also received some instructions to, on, on how to decorate these beautiful cerebral boxes. And to go with that, you will need the inspirational quotes and the conversation starters that we've put together for you uh, by theme. So we have uh, healthy eating, community building, personality traits, student wellness, academic areas of study, and uh, student wellness as themes. But you're not limited to these themes. You can choose whatever theme you wish for these cer cerebral boxes. Um, so Katia, once the schools have created their cerebral boxes, can you give us examples of how they can execute this in their breakfast program? Of course. Simply put the cerebral box in the center of the, temple, the table and let the kids do the work. Naturally, you'll see them read the questions, and answer it while they're eating. You can also, from a table to another, switch the cerebral box so then the kids can have new questions to answer. If your breakfast is served in the classroom, you can invite the kids to pass around the cerebral box so then they can all have their turn. You can also open a discussion about a question that that is very inspiring, like if you were given an extra hour each day, how would you spend it? Oh, can you imagine the answers? It's magic. You can invite the kids to answer their questions on a piece of paper, put it into the box, and then ask, ask someone to read the answers out loud. It could be very inspiring as well. You can also invite the kids to represent through a painting or a collage or some kind of piece of art, their answers. Let's say that there's a quote here, be the change you want to see in the world. <gasps> Can you imagine the piece of art that could decorate the walls of your breakfast program? It's and, beautiful. Absolutely. And don't forget that this activity can go on for several days. It doesn't have to be done in one day, right? Mm -hmm. So and during, uh, while this is all happening, we hope that you'll take lots of pictures and that you will write stories about you know, the outcome of the activity and to send those in to us before May 25th so that you have a chance to win one of 50 $100 Metro gift cards. Mm -hmm. So that would be wonderful if you could get that. And the most important part of the cerebral box is to be creative and have fun with it. Absolutely, and don't forget to send us your stories. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.